Hey, I'm TJ, bringing you a quick teamfight analysis from AWC 2018. Adapting to Chinese aggression, Vietnam try and force an early teamfight, gaining abyssal control. The fight starts with early pressure onto Nan Wan from Polo. He uses energy surge to knock him low and keeps him that way for the rest of the fight. Next, Yi Chen eats a flying spear coming through from Tian. Following those two engagements, both of the major damage dealers for China, the Crixi and the Lindus, are out of the initial phase of the fight. Not realizing this, 9-8-K and Jun Jun push forward and quickly eat a lot of damage from the opposing Crixi. Blake 1 dumps into them and 9-8-K needs to retreat. Quickly, TF and Bronze 5 follow. Bronze 5 gets first blood with a shadow dash through on Irie and then turns around and launches Spin, the Shuriken stunning up Yi Chen and keeping the damage dealer further out of the fight. While the rest of the team fight is ongoing, Nan Wan launches an attack from behind Junjun. He lightning strikes over the wall, an ability that has three charges, meaning from here he can dash twice more, plus his flicker. His objective is Blake 1 over on Vietnam, a player who's doing a ton of damage on Crixi. Blake 1 on Crixi doesn't have any mobility abilities, so he's going to have to use his flicker talent very carefully. He uses it to dive into the Dragon Pet, forcing one of the crucial three lightning strikes again out of the Tomb of Nan The slow regeneration of the lightning strike charges makes Nan unwilling to dive in. Blake One's good positioning allows him to unleash a mischief, forcing out the second of Nan One's lightning strikes. This leaves him with just one more dash, and Polo has been quickly closing the distance. When he uses his energy surge, again Nan One has to send lightning strike. This slow it would apply could be fatal. This leaves him still separated from the rest of the team, but he has a flicker, his talent, just to get over the wall and stay safe. By this point, China realized the fight has gone badly awry and start worrying about damage control. Junjun pushes forward on the lumber to take the front line as Yi Chen starts to make his escape. Junjun will eventually go down to the focus of Blake One and the rest of the Vietnamese side. Having won the team fight, Team Vietnam instantly and cleverly convert their win into gold, focusing down the sage golem. In a cleverly tactical moment, Yi Chen spots out that he can snag a jungle camp and does so, limiting the Vietnamese team's gold gain. Vietnam did a great job applying control abilities to both Yi Chen and Nan Wan. At no point were both of the major damage dealers active in the front lines meaning that Vietnam always had at least a 4v3. This allowed Vietnam to win the team fight despite having the odds stacked against them. This has been a team fight analysis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.